Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and look at that. I am plus for Windows Phone 7. It's finally here. Almost, kind of. This is the promo pre-release, so we managed to get our hands on it. Uh, if you have a developer unlocked device, you can get it it's free. Uh, you just have to sideload it. The official version though should be coming to the marketplace within days, so don't feel uh, too jealous, I suppose. But let's take a quick look. I'm already logged in here with my Gmail and Skype account. Uh, you'll see this little message here just telling you that it's the promo version. It's no big deal. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but it's just basically telling you to check the marketplace. So this is it. Uh, you have your contacts listed here. And then you have any chats open. And back to contacts. Uh, pretty basic. It's not a sophisticated app, but in a way it is. It's everything it, IM Plus pretty much does. Uh, let's go to accounts. So I have my two accounts here, and they can go to settings, and you can manipulate, edit them, delete them. Let's see, uh, you have your statuses, which you can set, very cool. Let's see, I'll zoom in there, let you see a little closer. You have your online, busy, away, invisible, or offline. And you can also edit those to make them custom, which is kind of a, a nice feature. We'll back out. Let's see, you have your normal settings. Nice uh, allotment of settings here. You have your contact list. You can show groups or online users only. I'm a big fan of that. Here's your notifications. New message was received on uh, sound and vibrate. You can have your contacts get online, notify you there. Your push settings, keep connected. So they'll keep you signed in basically on the IM Plus server. So even while you're out of the app, and even when you kind of log off of the phone to, or turn the phone off it kind of keeps you logged in and then ideally when you turn back on it'll all you know push the, the new settings to you um, push tile notifications and push toast notifications great options there so yes this can basically run in the background technically you know and it'll push new messages to you run under the lock screen very good so you turn the power off when you turn it back on again your screen will still show all the contacts doesn't need to reconnect and refresh and confirm the exit should we confirm on exit? Uh, I turn that off, just, you know, it's kind of useless. Uh, you can find a contact or add a contact. Uh, interesting, I'm not really sure how to add a new account if I wanted to. When you first turn it on, it actually gives you a whole list of accounts and allows you to add them. There's everything from Gmail uh, to Skype, Yahoo. Uh, I think there was uh, AIM, yeah, a or AOL, I should say, was on there. Uh, Facebook chat. I mean, it has everything. So it's a pretty exhaustive uh, client. But unfortunately, I think once you add it, I'm not really sure how you get back to that. You can do find contact here. It's pretty basic. But kind of a nice feature. And I'm just exit it out. Now, one thing that's unfortunate, actually, let me exit out again. I'm going to send myself a message. And so far, on two different phones, I've yet to get the push notifications working. Now, we could possibly chalk that up to IM Plus still ironing some bugs out. Maybe even their servers aren't up and running. But let's see, I'm going to send myself a message. I just sent it right now. And ideally, of course, I have it set so that the live tile should show uh, you know, a counter or something. And then a push notification should come in on the top. But as you can see, that's just basically not going to happen. Uh, once again, I'm going to chalk that up to probably just a uh, early bug or something with the, their servers, possibly even overloaded. But once you launch the app, you'll see. There you go. Uh, so you can see what the message looks like. It's kind of hard to read, sorry about that. But you can just ideally hit that message, or if you scroll down, You'll see it gives you the little one to let you know that you have a new message. And let's hop to that to show you what that looks like. Very pretty window, you know. Uh, just type something, test. Unfortunately, uh, enter doesn't send. Some people like that, some people don't. I wish it was kind of an option. You just have to send that way. And you can sort of get back out here. I'll show you the chat window. So very colorful, uh, nice, you know, separation of everything. It's kind of what you would expect the client to be. Uh, down here you'll see you have the little emoticons. 
Uh, very cool how that <laughs> lays out like that. Uh, it's like a transparency that lays on top and you pick what you want and then of course it inserts it down there. I know it's on Gmail of course or Gtalk they don't show up so it's probably client specific whether or not those work. Still nice feature. And that's pretty much it so let's see if we can figure out this account thing again. Settings. Oh here we go add. Ah there we go. So there's the master list of all the services that supports AOL, Facebook, Google Talk, ICQ, Jabber, MySpace. Wow, MySpace. Who uses that? Uh, Skype and Yahoo. I mean, that should pretty much, I think, cover most people's <laughs> requests for uh, IM clients. In that sense, it's, it's uh, very thorough. So my only issue right now is, of course, the push notifications aren't working. But like I said, I think that's probably just a, a bug and something that obviously can be worked out. The point is, it's should be there, should work, and so that's very cool. Uh, I'm not sure what the, they're going to charge for this. They probably will. Uh, it's worth it. I think it's a great app, well designed, keeps up with the Metro look and everything. So look forward to the next couple of days. I'm sure this will be a pretty big uh, popular app in the marketplace very soon. Take care, everybody.